That's your soul You know there's one thing that I believe You can't stop me from chasing my dreams I know it's rough and the road is long I got the strength you can carry me home yeah. You can try to silence my voice But the world's gonna hear my what song up, Cause whether I'm, I'm back. right or right You know how we do We back We live We active it's your boy, Mr. Von, Mr. Von Channel Sweatbox. And um, today I just want to talk to you guys real quick about the state of politics in this country right now and uh, the state of this country as a people right now because I feel like, and this is going to be a little bit of a rant, so bear with me, but I feel like it needs to be said because the past 11 days under Trump have just been, they've been something. <laughs> so... I want to start by talking about this Muslim ban that he put out, and please don't be mistaken, it is a Muslim ban. I don't care what you try to design it, what you try to color it up to call it safety for the people, fuck all that. It's a Muslim ban, and it's the most un-American thing that this dude's done in 11 days as president. <laughs> Who knows what else he's going to do? He might nuke Utah. Who knows? This is ridiculous. It's so un-American. I mean, and like I said, do not make the mistake. It is absolutely a Muslim ban. Giuliani called it as such on television. He slipped up. I think he realized he wasn't supposed to say those words, but that's what it was. That's exactly what it is. It's a Muslim ban. You cannot ban a group of people based on religion. And to all you Trump supporters... And all you people who feel like this is right, you need to look at yourself in the mirror. Because if you can, if you can look, if you can see what's happening, if you can watch the news and see what's happening with this with this Muslim ban that he put into effect, and it not, it and it not affects you the wrong way. And if you don't have a certain feeling about this, if you don't feel like this is wrong in your core as a person, you might be a piece of shit. If you can look at an Iraqi translator who's been working for this country putting his own life on the line for this country to help fight terrorism and, and ISIS. If you can watch him get detained for 13 hours at an airport after helping this country, if you don't have a problem with that, you might be a piece of shit. A five-year-old child detained at the airport for multiple hours while his mother was outside wondering what's going on because of this stupid executive order that that piece of shit Trump signed. If you can hear about that and it not piss you off and it not make you question if Trump is doing the right thing, you might be a piece of shit. I'm simple as that. It's no, I'm not sugarcoating it because there's right and there's wrong. And this is wrong. This is not who we are as a country. It's not. We're supposed to be better than this. He's supposed to be better than this. As a leader, he's supposed to be better than this. But we all know he's not no fucking leader. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to, as the president, you're supposed to embody the best of what America stands for. You're supposed to represent us. You're supposed to be the face of this country. You are a disgrace, Trump. A disgrace. All you've embodied is hate, bigotry, misogyny, xenophobia, racism. All the dirty, disgusting parts of this country, which we know exists, but we've worked years, decades, to try to eradicate that from our society and you just brought it to the forefront and tried to normalize it, you piece of shit. I got no respect for you at all. I think you're a horrible person. And to all you supporters out there and to all you Americans, this ain't the time to be standing on the sideline. No, I want to shout out to every single protester in this city. In this city, Seattle, in, uh, in, 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 in LA, in New York, in DC, in Denver. In Chicago, all those airports where you guys stood up and said, no, this is not happening, not today, not on our watch. Because this dude will try everything, and the people that he keeps around him, he surrounds himself with a cesspool of horrible people. Whether it be Kellyanne Conway, who let us never forget she used to work for Ted Cruz, and she said, she said, she spoke the truth about Trump. She said that he's a horrible person. How horrible of a person are you if you were just throw your moral, your moral values to the side and now you're working for him because he's paying you? You're a horrible person too, Kellyanne Conway. Sean Spicer. 
Reince Priebus, Paul Ryan, and worst of all, that walking bag of shit, Steve Bannon. He's a horrible person. Trump has surrounded himself with horrible people. Rex Tillerson. Horrible people. When Trump came out and said he sees the media as the opposition party, those are Steve Bannon's words verbatim. Steve Bannon whispered that into Trump's ear, and then Trump went out and spewed that bullshit to the te to the press. It's ridiculous. Who are we as a country? It's disgusting. He is tearing away at the moral fiber of who we are as a country. And it cannot be allowed. This is not a time to be standing on the sidelines. This is not a time to be standing on the sidelines. You have got to get involved. Because this shit affects everybody. Just because you're standing on the sidelines, you can still get hit. You know why? Because Trump ain't aiming. He's just letting off blindly. He done loaded that clip up with hatred, racism, bigotry, xenophobia, misogyny, and just started letting off. And ain't nobody safe because he's too stupid to aim. Ain't nobody safe. So don't be a spectator in this. You got to get involved. And you need to get involved because who are you as a person if you don't? If you just stand on the sideline, you know the old saying, you know the saying, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a kind of rephrase it so it fits with this, but you know the saying, when they came for the Muslims, I was silent. When they came for the Mexicans, I was silent. When they came for whoever he's going to come for next, because you know he is, I was silent. And then when they came for me, there was no one left to defend me. There was no one left to stand up for me. This dude is a monster. He's a fucking supervillain. And as funny as that may sound, the shit ain't funny. This country's been through too much, man. And this is, it's just a, he is a, he is a despicable human being. You guys know, as you guys can see by my shirt, you guys know I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. And, um, Peter Baelish, Littlefinger on the show, I believe Varys was talking about Peter Baelish and his, and his 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 lust for power and his lust to be more than what he was and he said the phrase he would let the kingdom burn to the ground if he could be king of the ashes that's Donald Trump in a nutshell this dude doesn't give a shit about this country he doesn't give a shit about the moral fibers and the moral compass that this country was built on he doesn't because he'd never lived by that we're talking about a rich kid who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, who ain't never had to work for shit, who had everything handed to him, and anytime he failed or anytime he struggled or something, he had his rich daddy come and bail him out and save his ass. This dude doesn't know struggle. This dude doesn't know the struggle of those people in Michigan and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania that won him the election. You guys really voted for him thinking he relates to you, thinking he understands? Well, he doesn't know shit about your struggle. And he don't care. And he don't care. Voting against your own interests. Why? Because you hated Barack Obama that much? Because is your hatred of black people that serious? Because you hated Hillary that much? Is your hatred of women that serious? Ain't nothing you can tell me to tell me that Hillary would have been worse than this. Uh-uh. And I have huge issues with Hillary Clinton, but there's no way you're going to convince me she's going to be worse than this. Never in a million years. You're flat out wrong. This dude is a criminal. This dude is a disgrace of a human being, and I'd fucking spit in his face if I ever saw him. He's a piece of shit. And this Muslim ban is just another, another drop in the bucket that is everything vile and disgusting about Donald Trump horrible human being and if you're supporting him and if you can still support him after this muslim ban after everything hell if you could still support him after grab him by the pussy you might be a piece of shit look at yourself in the mirror people if you can't sit there and say in public yeah i voted for trump and still hold your head up high you might be a piece of shit there's no reason you should be ashamed of the person you voted for 
There's no reason you should be able, you shouldn't be able to say it loud that, that you're proud that you voted for him because you're not. You can't be proud of this despicable human being. He's never done anything to benefit anybody else but himself. And here's the crazy thing. I had almost forgot in all the chaos, I had almost forgot about the 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 um the plan to build the wall because he did the Muslim ban right after that. People were protesting him building the wall. And he did the he's throwing so much shit. He's flooding the market with bullshit. We can't even cover it all. Why is he doing all this? Is because him and Rex Tillerson and Steve Bannon and Minutia and, uh, and, 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 and and Sean Spicer and Kelly and all those deplorable pieces of shit that he keeps around him, they are going to rob this country blind. Bet me on it. I guarantee you I'm right. These dudes ain't doing nothing to help this country. Them dudes is doing nothing to help themselves. And Paul Ryan, you spineless piece of shit, any, mor any morals that you had left went out the window as soon as you decided to side with him. You know what type of person he is. You said what type of person he is. Yet, because it's not going to affect you, you can just put it to the side and not deal with it. You know he's a horrible person. And, and, and because you didn't speak up, you're a horrible person too. You spineless bastard. Paul Ryan is just as bad for not speaking up. Anybody who doesn't speak up is just as much as fault. Because I told you this ain't the time to be standing on the sidelines. No, you got to get involved. It's your country too. And the shit he's doing is going to affect you. Period. This cannot be allowed to happen, people. It cannot. I'm done. I just can't with this dude. All right, y'all. It's your boy, Mr. Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn's channel, Sweatbox. You know how we do. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. That's it, y'all. Until next time, we got to be in this fight, man. Because they fighting... It's big stakes, man. All right, I'm going to holler at y'all. 100.